Do you think of um, any exceptions to your um, proposition to, to support free trade? Any strategic sectors in the economy you just mentioned that we need to preserve? Well, look, th there's always, uh, as I said, by the law of averages, you can always find examples of companies that have flourished despite protectionism because the circumstances were right, the technology was right, they were in the right place. So, you know, you, you can look at examples of sort of car companies in Japan or whatever and say they did all right, even though there was a tariff. True. Uh, my contention is that on balance, it must always be better to have allowed them to grow on their own. And I think the logic here is ineluctable. Either they are a company that you failed to identify, you, you, you picked a loser, in which case they do not deserve protectionism. You're, you're uh, misallocating resources to the wrong field, generally for political reasons. Or you happen to have one that would have done well anyway, in which case they didn't need it. Either way, the government is wrong to intervene. There is so I, 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 I just because you can find uh, some example of where it worked out, uh, it doesn't mean it was a, it was a bad idea. By the way, I, I, I just it's 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 sort of linked to the topic, but. I really do want to take on the idea that we've all, you know, that that, that people on, on ordinary incomes in the West are worse off than they were 20 or 30 years ago. I, this is so often repeated that, that I think we've started swallowing it without stopping to consider it. Um, Terence, like me, is old enough to remember how we lived in the 90s and the early 2000s with no wiki, with no Wi-Fi, where instead of one of these, you had a great big camera with rolls and you had, you know, this has replaced not just my my phone, but my chess set, my, you know, my compass, my radio, my my record collection, my, my library. You know, when people say that workers in the West are worse off, they are looking at only one thing, which is the relative value of wages to capital. Well, it is true that the entry into the global market of hundreds of millions of workers from formerly communist countries made uh, a, a, you know, changed that equation. But the flip side of it is that life was getting better because stuff was getting cheaper. And I would love some of those economists who tell us that we're all worse off to go back to that world where there were no cheap flights, there was no, you know, Ryanair, there was no, uh, you know, uh, entertainment was four channels on TV and maybe a blockbuster video, you know, that the coffee was watery and terrible. That, you know, I'd love to let them live a week in the late 90s or the early 2000s and then come back and tell us that we're all worse off than we were then. The